Master the seven steps to a perfect budget. Achieve financial freedom now. Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Do you ever feel like you have no control over your money? Well, let me tell you, the path to financial freedom starts with a solid budget. It's not the sexiest word, but trust me, mastering your budget is the single most important thing you can do to take charge of your finances and achieve your financial goals. In this video, I'm going to break down the exact seven-step system I used to go from being broke to building wealth. So, if you're ready to finally master your money and start living the life you deserve, buckle up and let's get started. Alright, let's be real for a second. Most people, they have no clue what they're actually saving for. They know they should be saving, but for what? A rainy day? A down payment? Look, if you don't have a clear financial target, it's like driving with your eyes closed. You might get somewhere, but it's not going to be where you want to go. So step one is all about getting crystal clear on your financial goals. And I'm not just talking about vague ideas like retire early. I want you to dig deep. What does financial freedom actually look like to you? Is it owning your dream home, traveling the world, retiring your parents? This is where my money goals mastery approach comes in. Grab a notebook, yes, an actual pen and paper, and write down everything you want to achieve with your money. Short-term goals like a new phone or a vacation, mid-term goals like paying off debt or buying a car, and those big, audacious, long-term goals like financial independence. Once you have your list, I want you to prioritize them. What's the one goal that gets you really fired up? That's the one you're going to focus on first. And don't be afraid to dream big here. The more specific and exciting your goals are, the more motivated you'll be to achieve them. Now take that top goal and break it down into smaller, actionable steps. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Set a timeline for each step so you know exactly when you want to achieve it. Regularly review your progress and adjust your plan as needed. Celebrate your small wins along the way to stay motivated. Visualize your success and keep your end goals in sight. Share your goals with someone you trust to keep you accountable. With clear goals and a solid plan, you're empowered to take control of your financial future. Okay, now that you know what you're working towards, it's time to face reality. Tracking your spending. I know, I know, it's not the most glamorous part of building wealth, but it's absolutely crucial. You can't fix what you don't track. It's like trying to lose weight without knowing what you're eating. Think about it, you wouldn't drive a car without a dashboard, would you? You need to know how much gas you have, how fast you're going, and if your engine is about to explode. Your finances are the same way. You need a clear picture of where your money is going each month. The good news is, tracking your spending is easier than ever with all the apps available today. Personally, I'm a big fan of Mint and Personal Capital, but there are tons of options out there. Find one that works for you and connect your bank accounts and credit cards. Now I get it. Seeing all your expenses laid out can be scary at first, even a little embarrassing, but knowledge is power, my friends. Once you see where your money is actually going, you can start making changes. The point is, you might be surprised by what you find. Alright, so you've got your goals set and you're tracking your spending like a financial ninja. Now it's time to bring some order to the chaos. Categorizing your expenses. This is where we create the blueprint for your master budget. Think of it like this, your income is your team, and your expenses are the players. You need to figure out which players are essential to winning the championship, your financial goals, and which ones are just taking up space on the bench. Start by dividing your expenses into three main categories, needs, wants, and savings. Needs are your non-negotiables, the things you absolutely need to survive, rent or mortgage, groceries, utilities, transportation. Wants are everything else, dining out, entertainment, shopping, that new gadget you've had your eye on, and savings, well, that's your ticket to financial freedom. Now prioritize like your financial future depends on it, because it does. Your needs should always come first. Make sure you're covered on the essentials before even thinking about anything else. Once you have a clear picture of your spending categories, it's time to create your monthly budget plan. Okay, so we've set our goals, tracked our spending, and categorized our expenses. This is the foundation of our financial journey. Now it's time to create the heart of the operation, your monthly budget plan. This plan will be your guide, helping you navigate through your financial landscape. This is where we take all that information and turn it into a system for managing your money like a pro. It's about making informed decisions and staying on track. Think of your budget like a roadmap to financial freedom. It's a visual representation of your financial journey. It shows you where you're starting from, where you want to go, and how you're going to get there. Every step is planned out. And the best part? It's completely customizable to your unique financial situation. 
you can adjust it as your circumstances change. First, grab your trusty notebook or spreadsheet and write down your total monthly income after taxes. This is the money you have to work with. This is your starting point. Knowing your income is crucial for planning. Next, list out all your expense categories, needs, wants, and savings. This helps you see where your money is going. Under each category, list out your specific expenses and the amount you plan to spend on each one. Be as detailed as possible. Now here's where it gets interesting. This is where you start to see the bigger picture. Remember those prioritized goals we talked about earlier? This is where they take center stage. They guide your financial decisions. Allocate a specific dollar amount from your income towards each goal. This is non-negotiable. Your goals are your financial priorities. Treat your savings goals like any other expense because they are. Savings are essential for your future. This is how you make sure you're paying yourself first. Prioritizing savings ensures financial security. Trust me, future you will thank you for it. By planning now, you're setting yourself up for success and peace of mind. All right, let's talk about one of the most powerful principles in personal finance, pay yourself first. This principle is a game changer for anyone looking to take control of their financial destiny. This isn't just a catchy phrase, it's a fundamental shift in mindset that can make or break your financial future. By adopting this principle, you prioritize your financial well-being above all else. Think of it like this. Every time you get paid, you're going to pay yourself first. This means setting aside a portion of your income for savings or investments before you do anything else. Before you pay your rent, before you buy groceries, before you even think about that new pair of shoes, you're going to set aside a predetermined amount of money into your savings or investment accounts. This ensures that your financial goals are met first. This is crucial because it takes advantage of something called Parkinson's Law, which basically states that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. Similarly, expenses tend to rise to meet income. In other words, if you wait until the end of the month to see what's left over to save, you'll likely find that there's nothing left. This is a common pitfall for many people, but if you make saving a priority from the start, you'll be amazed at how much you can actually put away. It becomes a rewarding habit that builds over time. Now, I'm not saying you have to save a huge chunk of your income right away. It's about starting with what you can manage and building from there. Start small, even if it's just $50 or $100 a month. The important thing is to get started and make it a consistent practice. The key is to make it a habit. Consistency is what will ultimately lead to significant savings over time. As you get used to living on a little less, you can gradually increase the amount you save. Over time, you'll find that saving becomes second nature and your financial future will look much brighter. Congratulations, you've made it to step six. You've set clear goals, tracked your spending, created a budget, and even mastered the art of paying yourself first. You're well on your way to financial freedom, but the journey doesn't stop there. Remember, your budget isn't set in stone. Life is unpredictable, and your financial situation is constantly evolving. That's why it's crucial to review and adjust your budget regularly to make sure it's still aligned with your goals and your current lifestyle. I recommend reviewing your budget at least once a month, ideally around the same time you get paid. Go through your income and expenses, compare them to your budget and see what's changed. Did you get a raise? Did your rent go up? Did you overspend on takeout last month? Be honest with yourself and make adjustments as needed. This is also a good time to revisit your financial goals. Are you on track to reach them? Do you need to adjust your savings rate? Okay, we're at the final step, but it's arguably the most important one. Staying disciplined and rewarding your progress. Because let's face it, sticking to a budget can be tough, especially in the beginning. It takes effort, commitment, and a whole lot of willpower. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be a constant grind. In fact, it's crucial to celebrate your wins along the way. Rewarding yourself for reaching milestones, no matter how small, is a powerful way to stay motivated and on track. Think about it. When you're trying to lose weight, you don't just focus on the number on the scale. You celebrate those small victories along the way, fitting into a smaller size, having more energy, feeling more confident. The same principle applies to your finances. By rewarding yourself for your progress, you're creating positive reinforcement that will make it easier to stay disciplined in the long run. And there you have it. The seven steps to mastering your budget and achieving financial freedom. Remember, it all starts with setting clear goals, tracking your spending, and creating a budget that works for you. Then, it's all about staying disciplined, paying yourself first, and rewarding your progress along the way. It's not always easy, but trust me, the rewards are well worth it. 
Imagine the peace of mind that comes with knowing you're in control of your finances. Imagine the freedom to pursue your passions, travel the world, or retire early. If you're serious about mastering your money and achieving financial freedom, start today by following these seven steps.